Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Boot Essentials by DevDojo. And in this video, we are going to see how the PUT request works. Well, as you already know, the PUT request should be idependent. It means that uh, it doesn't matter how many times we're executing that PUT request, it should have the same effect on our server. So uh, let's start doing some changes here because we are using this everywhere. So I'm going to Utils and I'm just going to Refactor and I will change the name from date to Utils and I'm going to change the anime controller date Util to Utils and uh, I'm going to Refactor this guy and I'm going to I will do it slowly so you can follow I just copied this one and here I'm going to create a method that is uh, public and uh, this will return an enemy because we are doing that search several times and what I'm going to do here it's either find um, you can say find enemy or throw not found and we need ID and a list of enemy and uh, enemies so here we just return this value. Okay. Now we can uh, do some refactoring. Missing one parenthesis. Now at uh, anime anime repository we can add uh, one field here private final. Utils, utils, and we just add here at required Argus constructor. So this will generate a constructor for the final attributes. And uh, we can change here the delete. We can just replace this by utils.findAnime or throw not found. And we send this ID and the list of enemies that we have. And we can create another method here because. Uh, we forgot we can create one public enemy find by ID and here we are going to ask for int ID and it will be exactly the same thing now we go to anime controller and here we can get rid of this and we just call like this okay so now that we did some refactoring we can copy this delete mapping mapping and then we add the the put mapping here again put mapping this is the only one we are going to replace the entire object this is how the put request should uh, should work just replace everything so we are going to copy this request body replace here and change the method name to update so what are we going to do here we are just going to copy this entire method we are going to change to update and then here we have anime anime and remember the put request should always have the same effect on the server doesn't matter how many times you are executing. So in our case, we are going to animus dot remove anime. Uh, ideally, it would be well. You can do this because then you are checking if the resource exists. But here, there you go. And then you are going to add again to this list so why are we doing this because remember the effect of the put request on your server should be always the same so it doesn't matter how many times i trigger the request i will always have exactly the same value so the put request should update the entire object so we have the patch protocol if you want to uh, replace only a few attributes inside that object but by default, the path request should replace the entire object. This is what we are doing here. And going back to the anime controller, we are just going to call update and then anime. Well, 
Uh, I think uh, we can start the server. And then on our postman, we just create a new one. Let's call but. The URL is exactly the same as the get. Actually, exactly the same as the get. And I'm going to copy one value here. Let's get rid of this one. Body, row, JSON, and uh, ID. Remember, the ID should be always the same, but uh, we're going to give a new name. And then when we send, we have no content. Uh, and again, uh, this is uh, some people will tell you differently that you can return the, the new object. In this case, I don't think it's a good idea to return the new object because whatever you are sending here is whatever you are going to have inside the server. So maybe some people may say, ah, but you can do some processing and uh, change some state there. Well, this is uh, not the, the put uh goal so you should change the the protocol if you're going to do some processing in the object so i'm just returning 204 no content it means that this was successful i can check here and then we have again number three Einstein's uh, gate if i replace the number one you will see that the order of course we're working with list Will be different so book on here is the last one now so we are removing and adding to the list it doesn't matter how many times i click over this send i'm going to have exactly the same result so this is the put request so this is it for this video see you in the next one bye